Everyone who visits this beautiful little island will appreciate the crystal clear turquoise waters, beautiful beaches and stunning sunsets. But while you're here, take a stroll up the hill to the beautiful little village of Mitohi, a little piece of history nestled in the hill high above the ports of Scala and Milos below, where you can enjoy old school Greek cooking prepared by a Greek grandma in a taverna owned for generations called Parnassos. The taverna is located in the center of the village and you'll find it by following the little signs. Its owner, Katina, is a wonderful gardener and you'll see evidence of that all around. Although most of the houses are restored now, the village was largely abandoned when I first arrived here 35 years ago, as the majority of inhabitants left for the conveniences of electricity and running water found in Scala and Milos. I was in my early 20s when I and a handful of foreigners and like-minded Greeks began to renovate these houses. Now, decades later, it was a pleasant surprise when Katina reminded me that it was my suggestion that she placed tables and chairs on the roof so people could enjoy the view. Most of what you're served in this taverna comes straight from Katina's garden, like the cucumbers, tomatoes and peppers in her Greek salad, the zucchini in her fritters, or kolokitho kefthedes, and especially the horta, or boiled fresh greens. Even the fried potatoes, served with her grilled lamb chops, pork and beef steaks, sausage, and panceta, or pork bellies. Not to mention her wonderful biftekia, or minced beef patties. Usually, she will also have prepared stewed beef, goat, or sometimes rooster, served in a delicious Greek tomato sauce. A number of old traditions are kept alive on this island, and many people raise their own livestock, providing free-range goat, sheep, pork, and chickens. Religious holidays are faithfully observed, and the village has its own little church right below it. On some of these occasions, Katina lights up her stone wood-burning oven, preparing a feast for when the church services are over. Today, the girls are helping her prepare roasted fresh goat and potatoes. It's a big oven, and Katina can fit all seven of these large pans, feeding a lot of hungry mouths in her taverna this evening. Once she has the oven just right, she begins loading the pans, one by one, to let them roast slowly, the old-fashioned way. Not far from the taverna is the house where my parents lived all those years ago. And from there, we could always smell the cooking when Katina had her oven going. That house has since been beautifully renovated as have many others in the village, creating some delightful little homes. As evening falls, the time has come for Katina to bring the goat up into the taverna and begin serving it. The lights come on and slowly, one by one, the guests will arrive from the church below. She's let the meat sit for a while after cooking to enhance the flavors. And the result is absolutely amazing, juicy and tender. If you'd like to arrange for a special occasion at Parnassos Taverna in Matohi, Katina can provide a truly memorable meal for any number of people you specify. She can prepare the goat you've seen here, her incredible rooster and wine or coco vin, or anything else on her menu. I highly recommend her pastizio, by the way. To make arrangements, you'll find information on the mayagistri.com website.